All over the world, people are being drawn to the big city. The UN predicts that by 2050, some two-thirds of the world's inhabitants will live in cities. Many cities are now facing problems, such as overcrowding, air pollution, and social injustice. And these are set to deteriorate as urbanization accelerates. Smart cities are the response to this. In the latest edition of the Quintessence, we discover what opportunities this market will offer for the electronics industry in the future. In line with our motto, future markets discovered today. Among other topics, we show how the use of sensor technology, information technology and telecommunications is making towns cleaner, smarter and more sustainable. The aim here is not just to achieve a better quality of life for citizens. Cities can play a pioneering role in combating climate change, as the CEO of Greenpeace International explains in her interview. With the help of reports on the numerous projects that have already been implemented around the world, TQ Smart Cities shows that the idea of smart cities is not just an utopian vision. Cities can even profit economically from increasing smartness. With the right business models, they can exploit new sources of revenue. But for that to happen, it is important that cities abandon their silo mentality and create solutions embracing all the relevant offices, agencies, and disciplines, as the experts in our roundtable discussion are keen to stress. Through guest editorials from our supplier partners, you will realize that creating a smart city is a project with a time horizon extending over decades, which, in turn, demands lasting commitment on the part of political leaders. In summary, this TQ reveals the opportunities the smart city offers for people as well as for the electronics industry and shows that smart cities are already much closer to becoming reality than one might think. Smart questions and suggestions? As always, you can contact us at bernd.schlemmer at ebb.com.